July 17th. On this day we celebrate the memory of the holy and glorious martyr Marina. The holy martyr Marina lived during the reign of Emperor Claudius. She was from Pisidian Antioch and the daughter of the idolatrous priest Edissimus. Her mother having died when she was twelve years old, she was placed in the care of a nurse who lived in the country. Association with Christians who lived in the area, along with the good natural disposition of the girl, made the seeds of the true faith germinate very quickly in her heart. When she had reached the age of fifteen, she was so consumed with love for Christ that she des desired and thought about one single thing, to commune with, by the shedding of her blood in the sacrifice that the martyrs made for the love of God. Far from keeping this desire secret, she had no fear of proclaiming aloud that she was a Christian, and she mocked the worship of idols. This provoked her father's hatred, and he disinherited her. Olibrius, prefect of Asia, being on the way to Antioch, met the saint while she was keeping the flocks with the other women from the village. Charmed by her beauty, he told his men to bring her to him in order to make her his wife. Arriving at the palace and brought before the magistrate, who asked her to identify herself, the girl declared with assurance, My name is Marina, the daughter of free-born parents in Pisidia, but I am a servant of our God and Saviour Jesus Christ, who made heaven and earth. She was put in prison till the next day, on which a great pagan feast was due. Taken again before the tribunal, and urged to sacrifice to the gods with the rest of the people, Marina replied, I will offer a sacrifice of praise to my God, but never to your dumb and lifeless idols. Olibrius pressed her to spare her youth and beauty, but she retorted that all carnal beauty fades, while torture endured in Christ's name adorns the soul and prepares it for the eternal marriage. The magistrate, angered by her audacity, ordered that she be stretched out on the ground and thrashed with thorny rods and her flesh be lacerated with iron nails. The saint's blood spurted out in a great flood and redded, reddened the ground, but she let not out a single cry of pain, remaining imperturbable as though someone else were suffering in her place. After having tortured her in this way for hours, they returned her to prison. She was praying there to God not to abandon her in the trials and the confession of faith, when an earthquake shook the prison, bringing a monstrous dragon out of its lair. Fire and smoke belched from its eyes, its tongue was blood red, and it made a terrible whistling noise as it moved towards the saint. Seized with great fear, Marina prayed to God the Saviour, who had reduced Satan to powerlessness and freed the dead from hell by his cross. The dragon changed itself into a huge and repulsive black dog. The saint, thenceforth strengthened by the grace of God, grabbed it by the skin, and seizing hold of a hammer that was lying nearby, stopped the beast, placed her foot on its neck, and killed it, smiting it on the head and the spine. A brilliant light then appeared in the cell, shining from a huge cross on which a white dove was perched. The dove flew down beside Marina and said to her, Rejoice, Marina, God's spiritual dove, for you have overcome the evil one and covered him with shame. Rejoice, faithful servant of the God whom you love with all your heart and for whom you have abandoned all transient pleasures of earth. Rejoice and be glad, for the day has come for you to receive the crown of victory and to enter fitly clad with the wise virgins into the nuptial chamber of your spouse and your king. In the morning, Marina was summoned a second time before the governor's tribunal. When she showed a resolution even firmer than before, Olibrius ordered that she be stripped naked and burnt with torches. After this torture, she was thrown head first into a water-filled cistern. The dove then reappeared, bearing a branch in its beak, and the shining cross stood above the cistern, from which the saint emerged free of her bonds. The dove could be heard saying, Come, Marina, and enjoy the rest reserved for the righteous. In the face of this miracle, a great many of the pagans present confessed Christ and asked the saint to instruct them in the doctrine of salvation. Beside himself with fury, the governor ordered that they all be beheaded along with St. Marina. Arriving at the scaffold, 
St. Marina asked the executioners for a moment's prayer, and turning eastward, she begged the Lord to give health of soul and body to all who asked her intercession. Having finished her prayer, she called on the executioner to do his work. But he, filled with a devout fear, confessed Christ and refused to lift his hand against the saint. Marina then said to him, You have no part in me unless you get on with what you have been ordered to do. And with a trembling hand he beheaded her. A Christian called Theotimus, who had secretly carried food to the saint when she was in prison, took her body and gave it worthy burial. Until the time of the Crusades, the relics of St. Marina were venerated in Constantinople in the Church of Christ Pantopoptes. God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, the comfort of the Spirit of truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. of Egypt's land, the Israelites cried aloud, proclaiming, Unto our God and Redeemer let us now sing. O holy great martyr Marina, pray to God for us. As thou dances around about God, O martyr, and art filled with the beams of brightness that shine from him, grant me, Lord, giving splendor by thine intercessions, O comely virgin. Holy great martyr Marina, pray to God for Possessing us. Possessing a wise mind, O martyr of Christ, how didst prudently disdain the unstableness and corruptibility of fleeting things, and was just leading worthy of the radiance on high. O holy great martyr Marina, pray to God for I us. I draw nigh unto thee as a suppliant, O venerable Marina, by thine entreaties, O prize-winning martyr. Preserve me from the hardships of life and calm the troubling of my passion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. If you mean in mind with wisdom and grace, thou didst not quake at the tyrant's threats, O Marina, you mother of the Saviour, for you were strengthened with divine power. Both now 
now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou hast shown the path of life in conceiving the very life himself and giving birth to him in the flesh, O Mother of God, and thou hast rent asunder the bones of death. None is as holy as the Lord, and none is as righteous as our God, whom all creation hymns singing, none is righteous save thee, O Lord. O holy great Martyr Marina, pray to God for us. Neither fire nor strife, neither sword's edge nor tyrant's cruelty, neither death nor the fierceness of beasts was able to separate thee from divine love, O all blessed Marina. Holy great Martyr Marina, pray to God In for us. In times of adversity, thou was an unshakable and immovable tower of piety, having thy foundation set upon the rock of faith, O all glorious and all. Blessed Marina, Holy Great Martyr Marina, pray to God for us. Thou was a virgin among martyrs, and thou became an invincible martyr among virgins, being wedded to Christ, who gave thee a twofold crown, O all blessed Marina. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When the founders of the holy blood poured forth, O comely virgin, they quenched all the error of the idols, and brought a multitude of martyrs to thy bridegroom. Look both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Made strong by grace, O Theotokos, we glorify thee with one accord, for thou gavest birth in the flesh unto him that grants their being unto all things, and thou hast renewed the world. We the faithful sing thy praise, for by the power of the cross, with a brave and noble mind, thou trottest underneath thy feet, the tyrant foe, famed martyr of Christ, Marina. For us thou art become the courage of our faith, trampling underfoot all the might of the foe. And thou hast now received from heaven the crown of victory upon thy head. Beseech Christ God that he grant salvation to all keeping my memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Joseph was amazed to see that which transcended nature's bounds, for without saint thou, O maid, didst both conceive and bear a child. And he remembered the blossoming rod of Aaron. The dew upon the fleece and the unburning bush, which was not consumed, though it was all aflame. Thus thy protector and betrothed cried, as he bear witness before the priests. A virgin beareth, and after childbirth still remaineth a virgin. Thou art my strength, thou art my power and might, O Lord. Thou art my God, thou who wast not absent from thy father's arms. Thou, Lord, art my joy. Thou hast deigned to visit our lowliness and our poverty. To thee, therefore, I cry out with Habakkuk the prophet, Glory be to thy power, O friend of man. O holy great martyr Marina, pray to God for us. The life was truly filled with divine magnificence. It was beloved of the angels, but unapproachable unto the troops of the demons and the servants of their ferocity. For thou didst cry unto Christ, Glory to thy power, O friend of man. Holy great martyr Marina, pray to God for us. Thou fought upon the earth, enduring pains for a season, O celebrated martyr, O blessed Marina. And now in the heavens thou receivest from the master thy rewards unto infinite ages, crying out to the angels, Glory to thy power, O friend of man. Holy great martyr Marina, pray to God for us. Now the exultation of virgins rejoices over thee. Now the company of the martyrs is glad. Now the gathered multitude of the pious forms acquire in joy, crying unto the master with the voices never silent. 
Glory to thy power, O friend of man. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou art all fair, and without spot, O maiden. Thou art altogether and utterly blameless, bride of the lover of the soul's beauty. For through the fiery burning of torments, O blessed, thou hast shone more bright, singing to Christ, Glory to thy power, O friend of man. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou alone has remained pure after bringing forth. Thou alone gives birth to the anipostatic word, the Son, who is of one throne with the Father, and was incarnate of thee, O Bride of God. And thou bears in thine arms him whom nothing can contain, who holds the dominion of all in his cross. Wherefore hast thou deprived me and cast me, the hapless one, far from thy countenance? And the outer darkness is enshrouded and cast its gloom over me. Yet now I beseech thee, do thou convert me and direct me to the light of thy precepts, O Lord my God. O holy great martyr Marina, pray to God for us. Thou hast run to the end the most strenuous race of an athlete in the stadium, O maiden. For divine longing gave wing to the languor of woman's nature, O martyr Marina manifestly showing thy mind to have full dominion over suffering. Holy great Martyr Marina, pray to God for the us. The falling drops of thy blood wove a robe of great price and a mantle of unmingled joy, O godly mind in martyr, and clothed now therewith in the heavens, thou stands before thy noetic bridegroom. O holy great Martyr Marina, pray to God for With us. With the bones of thy prayers, O maiden Marina, thou Thou bones the vaunting serpent, and didst humble to the earth a brow once lifted up in pride. For he that beholds all things, since he is good, knows to do the will of them that fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy bridegroom, the Word, adorned thee indeed with divine diadems of surpassing glory. For he beheld thee contending for his sake, and patiently enduring the flame of the fire, and the painful tortures, O glorious Marina. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Beholding the nature of mortals washed clean, of the former curse of the offspring of thy virginity, O all blameless virgin, we glorify him that in his compassion was born of thee who alone art pure. Beseech him that we be saved. O Lord, be gracious to me, for many are mine iniquities, and from the pit of my wicked deeds raise me up, I pray, for unto thee have I cried, O God of my salvation and my Saviour, hearken unto me. O holy great Martyr Marina, pray to God for us. Thou as manifest to Christ as a hidden and spotless beauty, as a diaphanous fountain, a very fruitful God and a true bride, and a paradise and spoiled, O all glorious Marina. Holy great Martyr Marina, pray to God for us. And all comely young maiden followed after thee, running after the fragrance of thy myrrh, O Master, and imitating by her endurance thine immaculate and venerable passion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O much contending martyr, thou best struggles manfully, and by the power of the cross, thou didst destroy with a resounding noise him that madly boasted great things, O rightly named Marina. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Mary, who art all blameless, thou pure and all august dwelling place of the Creator of all, grant me tears to cleanse my soul and hearken to my prayer. With most fair virginity was thou made comely of a virgin, and with wounds of martyrdom hast thou been crowned, O Marina. Sprinkled with the blood of contest, O noble martyr, thou hast shone forth with the splendor of wondrous healings. For thy piety receiving the prize of victory due to thy contest and pain, 
flame in thy heart from thine earliest youth with desire for Christ thy bridegroom, O modest Marina. Thou ranest like a thirsting gazelle to the ever-flowing fountains, O virgin martyr. And having preserved thyself in contest, thou hast reached thy creator's truly incorruptible bride chamber as a glorious bride, wearing a robe adorned in varied colors, crowned victorious, bearing thy torch in full flower. Having gained that imperishable nuptial chamber, and receiving like an ornament of gold the prize of victory due to thy contest and pains. The prize of victory due to thy contest and pains. The three Hebrew children in the furnace trampled on the flame with courage and great boldness. They turned fire to do, and they cried out with a great voice, Blessed art thou, O Lord God, unto the ages of ages. O holy great martyr Marina, pray to God for us. The unapproachable light, worthily enlighten thy soul, O Marina, and made it to shine with beams of light, as thou didst cry, Blessed art thou, O Lord God, unto the ages. Holy great martyr Marina, pray to God for thou us. Thou hast been taken up to a very divine height, for lofty was thy disposition, and thou hast made thy dwelling in a radiant bridal chamber, crying, Blessed art thou, O Lord God, unto the ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast been shown to be a true bride of the Master, O God-bearing Marina, and as an invincible martyr thou dost cry unto him, Blessed art thou, O Lord God, unto the ages. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. No more is there a prince out of Judah, but he has failed. For the master, the hope of the nations, has ineffably done forth from thee. Him do all generations, tribes and tongues bless. When the musical instruments sounded, and innumerable were those who worshipped the image in Dura. The three youths, refusing to obey the tyrant's command, hymned and glorified the Lord for all ages. O holy great martyr Marina, pray to God for us. Possessing a steadfast purpose, thou didst steadfastly endure the contest, and was crowned with crowns of victory, while singing praise to the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. Holy great martyr Marina, pray to God for God, us. God, the word, the bridegroom of soul, has prepared a mystical bride chamber for thee in the heavens, O Marina, Looking upon whom thou dost cry, praise the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. Holy great martyr Marina, pray to God for us. Adorned with manifold virtues, thou wast deemed worthy of greater gifts, beholding the uttermost of all that can be desired, and crying, Praise you the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Thou wast the cause of salvation for many, O prize winner, and thou led the whole people of martyrs unto Christ, singing in unison with them. Praise you the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Forgiveness was given to us through thee, O birth giver of God, for thou alone didst repay our debt when thou didst conceive the God and Master of all, for the salvation of all. O Immaculate Virgin. Terror filled every ear that heard the unheard of condescension of God the Word. How the Most High willingly came down even to the flesh, becoming man through the virgin's womb. Wherefore we the faithful magnify the all-pure Theotokos. O holy great martyr Marina, pray to God for us. O Marina, martyr of Christ, fittingly indeed as thou reaped eternal and indestructible life in the paradise of delight, for thou hast passed by the turning sword unharmed, shining afar with the blood of martyrdom, O beautiful virgin. Holy great martyr Marina, pray to God for thy us. Thy strong desire for God burned up in thee every thought of material things and love for the world, O most august Marina. 
and it made thee, who has first shone out the gleaming rays of virginity, to be a most steadfast martyr. Wherefore we all faithfully call thee blessed. Holy great martyr Marina, pray to God for us. Loose by thine intercessions the cords of mine offenses, O elect bride, and around the sound of the handwriting of my sin, O martyr, as thou standst majestically before Christ, thine all-compassionate bridegroom, and scatter the gloom of my passion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The wicked wanton of the avenger I cease, for behold, young maidens, forgetting woman's nature, have fought in contest, and gaining the victory over him in the sight of all, they have now manifestly recovered from the fall of our first mother. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Unhurt by the tree of knowledge, I pluck the ripened fruit of life, for thou, O Immaculate Virgin, brought forth Christ, the tree of life, who has made down to all the entries into life. Therefore, O all pure one, we piously declare thee to be the Theotokos. As our Lord's holy martyr, and as his comely virgin bride, rescue thy people and city. Marina, well imploring God, that we may all be delivered from perils, wrath, and corruption. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. Than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, with the prayers of his holy and all-pure Mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all-praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oren of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Morlug, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy great martyr Marina of Antioch in Pisidia, with the prayers of the holy royal martyrs of Russia, Emperor Nicholas II, the Empress Alexandra, Crown Prince Alexis, and the Grand Duchesses Olga, Tatiana, Marina, and Anastasia, who was slain by the atheist in 1918. With the prayers of the holy martyrs of Cilium, who were beheaded at Carthage in the year 180, Speratus, Narzalus, Citinus, Veturius, Felix, Aquilinus, Latentius, Januaria, Generosa, Donata, Secunda, and Vestia. With the prayers of the holy martyr Veronica, with the prayers of Saint Euphratius, Bishop of Ionopolis, who reposed in peace. With the prayers of Saint Lazarus of Mount Galatian, the recovery of whose holy relics we also celebrate this day. With the prayers of our righteous mother Marcelina, the sister of Saint Ambrose of Milan. With the prayers of our righteous father Irinarchus of Solovki. With the prayers of our righteous father Leonidas of Usnaduma. With the prayers of St. Sinlo of Wales, St. Canelm of Marisha, and St. Turninus of Antwerp, and those with them whose memory we keep this day. And the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all of the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good, and he loves mankind. Amen. The prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.